So you can see it's broken there. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace your oil pump on a Ford Ranger Mazda BT50 P5AT engine. So this engine, the oil pump actually is already broken on it. So it's just a, it's a junk engine just for demonstration purposes only. That's why it's so dirty and out of the car. First, remove all the sump bolts and remove the sump. Remove the eight mil bolt for the oil pump oil feed. Remove the oil feed line. Remove the two 8mm bolts for the oil pump pickup. This special tool is so you can align the oil pump chain back up in factory alignment. So normally before you pull off the oil pump, you'd put on the special tool and the prongs on the tool would meet up against the face of the oil pump sprocket. And then that way you bolt this down and then you take off the oil pump and then when you put in the new oil pump the sprocket on the new oil pump will meet up with the prongs again and then you can tighten the oil pump up and it's lined up with factory alignment. However what we found out is that the sprocket has detached from the shaft on the oil pump so we can't use the tool for this application. Remove the four 8mm bolts that hold on the oil pump. Remove the oil pump. We're replacing the oil pump with a gear style pump. So that way it's got gears instead of the normal veins inside of the oil pump. So the reason we do that is by having a gear style oil pump, it fixes the issue of the engines not picking up oil when you drain them for too long. And it also fixes the major issue of the veins breaking and then yeah, destroying the complete oil pump. So this is a big reliability upgrade. To make sure the pickup O-ring is sealing, Fit it to the oil pump, put the screw back into it. And once that's all screwed in, you want to put the pickup in like a cup of oil and then you want to spin it by hand to make sure that it's picking up oil. And that way you check it before it's all done in the car. In the kit there'll be a 12 mil bolt. Fit this to where the oil supply line was the new gear pump doesn't require it. If you don't fit this bolt, you won't have enough oil pressure. Fit the oil pump. Right, so since you've already tested out the O-ring and you know it's working, just leave it on. Um, you'll have to put this screw in first. Otherwise, if you screw all the other ones down first, you won't be able to get it in. If your oil pump wasn't broken, uh, normally with the tool fitted on there, you just push the oil pump up to the tool and then tighten up the four oil pump bolts. But because this one was broken, we're just gonna have to line it up best we can by eye and then tighten up the four bolts this one with the pickup on, this one in the corner here, you can't get out to with a uh, ratchet, so you'd have to use a spanner if the oil pump pickup is still on. Pickup bolt. Make sure you torque all of the oil pump bolts, especially these two. The pickup bolt, uh, that oil feed bolt, as per Ford Workshop manual specs. The new oil pump touches on the sump baffling, so a little bit will have to be grinded out. There'll be a template in the kit that you'll be able to trace out. You'll have to grind a bit out of this area to get it to fit. After you've done grinding, test fit it without silicon. Then once you're happy with it, clean it all up, silicon it up, and then you, that's it. So looking at the old oil pump, when you go to spin it, you can only spin it so far before it locks up. It has actually broken the veins and all the insides in it. We'll open it up later to show you. And you can see it's cracked the oil pump housing. So it's because it's locked up, that's why the sprocket fell off of it. So we'll go open it up and we'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. As I take the cover off, so that's what they look like on the inside. So you can see it's broken there. You pull out one of the veins 
usually you'll see on them you'll usually see a deep wear mark on the inside of the vein where it sits on the inside of um, this inner circle thing uh, you can see there was one missing that one that was missing we found in the pickup so you can see what happens is they wear on the inside of the veins and then eventually once it gets worn enough they split and then it just jams a pump and breaks them.